Hello everyone, Amin here at Studio Kids. We are going to paint with acrylic paints today and our subject is tulips. So I'm going to hit pause, take you outside into the garden. We'll take a and we'll take a closer look at our subject matter. These are kind of the last of them. They're still hanging in there. It's pretty pink and white ones. Should come in a little closer so you can see those colors nicely organic shapes and notice our tulip leaves are kind of long stems are really long some of those leaves fall over we're going to incorporate our blue sky and all that green so i'm going to hit pause again we'll go back inside and get set up i did these a few days ago and we'll be posting a time lapse video of one of those in progress um three pieces of paper four by 12 inches each piece. It's a heavy 100% cotton rag paper. So today you can either paint on a good quality mixed media, multimedia paper or onto canvas. Um, I have paper, so that's what I am going to do. I did earlier today do this one on canvas and it's a six by 12. It had something else on it and I just totally recycled that canvas. So just painted right on top of um, what was there before. So what you will need today is, this is what my palette looks like. And let me just grab my list. There we are. Follow along with that. All right. So, palette knife, brushes. They are flat, three quarter inch. So it's a square brush. When you turn it on its side, it gives you a really fine line. So we're going to paint with it this way and width ways. So I want two of those, and another one in a smaller size. This is a number six flat brush. The palette, that refers to what you're putting your paint on. I like to use a plastic lid. So this lid is sort of a shoebox size. So when you're done for the day, you can mist this whole thing just with plain water. And then you can put the box on it, just like that. And then you're good to go tomorrow. That'll keep your paint fresh, acrylic paint dries really quickly and just spritz it with water again if you're not going to use it tomorrow. So I was painting earlier so this is my remnants so as you can see I'm not going to scrape all this off and start fresh again I'll just add more paint as needed. These are our colors titanium white, a deep olive green or hooker's green they're the same, phthalo green, phthalo blue, alizarin crimson, cadmium yellow light, a red violet light or a pink and some acrylic gloss medium. Size options, four by 12, six by 12. We're using that long format to kind of emphasize the composition of our tulips. I'm just gonna do two stems on this one piece of paper. So let's start. Here we go, start with this paintbrush. We are gonna put just the tiny bit of blue up here at the top maybe a spot on the edges. And then with that same brush, I'm gonna dip right into my white, scoop it right up and start painting. There's a little bit of blue still on that brush. So if I work in the middle, it's gonna give me that pale, pale blue in the middle. I'm gonna add more white to my brush and now I'm going to work on those outside edges so that they might be a little bit darker up at the top. I'm really just getting a first layer down. I'm going to come back over this once my tulips are painted and kind of give it a, a second coat. This is our quick first coat where it's fairly light still. And down at the bottom, maybe I'll do just a touch of green down here. And 
add a little bit of that medium. That medium will just be transparent, but it'll help kind of that blend. So I have this pale green that works into the white into the blue. That's it. Next, we're gonna grab, we'll just stick with this brush. I have a rag that I'm gonna just wipe it off. I'm not gonna use water, because with today's colors, I don't really need it. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start adding my stems and leaves. So I'm gonna dip into this. I'm going to use some of this phthalo green and a little bit of yellow and a little bit of white on my brush. Just tap it a little to blend it, not a lot, just a little. When I was outside, I noticed that those tulip stems, they bend and curve and twist. And I'm gonna put another one over here. Uh, there's a lot of white on that brush so over here. Get some more paint. And now I'll have this one bend in the other direction and it's a little bit shorter. I don't want them both to be the same height composition. That would not be very interesting, so I've staggered the height. Next, let's get some more paint on that brush. A little bit of the hooker's green, the phthalo green, a little yellow, and maybe just a little tiny bit of white, and paint a leaf. So, brush techniques. With the stems, I kept that brush straight up and down, barely touching it to keep a nice narrow line. With the leaf, I'm gonna start about here because the leaves, when I was outside, I noticed they're not as tall as the stem. So I'll start here with the brush narrow, pull it down slowly and slowly pushing down, bend that brush so that it's wide and then bring it down to the bottom. Get more paint and maybe add some more paint to that. There seems to be more paint on the other side of the brush, so maybe we'll add some more paint. Get more paint on the brush and do the same thing and paint another leaf. If it doesn't get pointy enough, then I'll just bring it up a little higher and then pull it down. Get more paint, and I'm just I'm using the same colors each time. That phthalo green, hooker's green, a little yellow, just a touch of white. They're all on the brush together. And we'll come over here and we'll add a leaf on this side. So I just twist that brush to get the shape of the leaf. Now, I wanna go a little bit darker over here and add kind of a dark, sort of the back of a leaf. And then maybe pick up some white, yellow, green. And then on this side, have a leaf that's kind of folding over on itself. I can lighten it up a little bit more because it's kind of in the front. So that's its shadow and that's the front part of the leaf. And maybe add a few more that are a little more subtle. And maybe there's a stem going off to the side. And that's about it. Next, let's paint our tulips. So we'll take the smaller brush, put that other brush to the side, get our pink, light pink, dark pink, and a tiny bit of white just on the corner. And our tulips are sort of a U shape that have a bit of a shake to them because these ones are opening up. So I'm gonna start up here, go side to side a little bit, have it wider at the bottom, have it turn up, and just let the blush kind of flick on its side. I kind of like that. And the other one, maybe I'll put a little more white on my brush, that dark. So I've got all three colors on there. So white, 
the dark pink and the light pink. And we'll put another one through here. Again, it's going to have a little shake. Maybe I'll flip the brush over this time. And kind of come through the middle. And maybe a little more white on the top. To get it really thick, you kind of need to just get that white and just kind of blob it on there. I always have more than one color on my brush. And that's it for that. Let's go back in. Let's work on these stems a little bit again. So there's already green on that brush. I'm gonna do it, hit it. So I get a nice fine line. And I come back up in here. And just pull into that pink. And I'll take my pink brush and give it a little hit down here so that starts to blend just a little bit. Take my clean brush, I'm gonna dry it off, it was a little bit wet. And now I'm gonna work back into this blue one more time. So I'm gonna take my blue, I'm gonna take some of my medium, the acrylic gloss medium. It's clear and it leaves us with a sheen to the paint. So I'm gonna start with this, where I took just a little bit of the blue, some of the white, some of the medium, and now I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to outline and I think I want it more opaque. So I'm going to add more blue. So more white and a little bit of blue. And I'm gonna give this sort of a, a second coat. That first coat, the paper really absorbs a lot of the moisture from the paint. So when it dries, it looks really dull. So we wanna go over it a second time to kind of get some gloss back in the paint. It's the other reason why I don't have water to wash my brushes because that would just dull everything out um, and so I'm just gonna use the thin side of the brush to go in between and come down here anytime that line starts to get thicker you just hit the brush both sides having a hard time finding some clean white paint. But that's okay. I think I'm close to being done. I'm going to hit a little bit more green. I'm going to use this green brush again, or the blue brush again, with some white and a little bit of the green. So it's pretty soft. And just add a few up and down stripes that blend with it. Now keep that low. And that's it. I'm finished. I like doing these in series. So then I would pull out another piece of paper. My paint's all out. Go ahead, paint another one. Do another one. They are kind of fast. They're spontaneous. Our tulips are very natural. So we don't want to overpaint them. You want to use your brushes to make the marks. Here's our list again. If you are enjoying this, please do follow me on YouTube, Amin Dillon. I teach classes at Studio Kids and I keep a blog. So studiokids.com. You can uh, follow that and you'll see a whole bunch of pictures of all kinds of projects I've done in the past. And this again, here's our finished tulip. few more and one more.
All right, see you next time.